Now there's a lot of negativity in the water cooling industry, but here at Fantex today, we have some absolutely amazing products to show you guys. And a lot of them are on display right now in the NV7 cases. Let's go and take a look. Now the first product that I wanna highlight here is Fantex's incredibly hefty design on their brand new GPU water blocks. We have them for the RTX 50 series GPUs, RTX 5090 for Asus, MSI, and Aorus. Comes in black and white as well. You can see just the craftsmanship around these. I really hope that Fantex can take over the water cooling industry. I'm hoping for a company to come in. Please, Fantex. With these particular GPU blocks, they've actually got their shark tooth fittings built into it. And I'll talk a little bit more about those very soon. Now, this one for me is super exciting. They've actually got new distro plates for the NV5, NV7, and NV9 series cases. And the reason I really love these distro plates is because they actually move back and forth. So if your tube run is a little bit out with your CPU or your GPU block, you can actually loosen these screws, position it exactly where you want on it, line the tubes up perfectly and get those really straight tube bends. This is Fantex's brand new 120 pump res combo. We don't have a pump in here at the moment, but it does house a DDC pump. We actually have one in the system behind us as well. It does come in black and white and has their shark tooth fittings installed as well. Now we have the option of the two ports on the front. We also have two ports on the side and one port on the rear here. You would actually typically use this as a fill or drain port, while these ones would be the two main feed lines. Fantex have some brand new beefy radiators, 45 mil thickness. We've also got the shark tooth fittings installed as well. Also come in black and white. You can get some serious cooling out of these now, not just 30 millimeters, but 45 mil thick. These are their shark tooth fittings and these are extremely unique in the sense that the I mean, from what I can think of, there's no other fittings on the market that can actually take both soft tube and hard tube. You can actually insert a 16 millimeter hard tube into here. It does have a built-in O-ring and it has a clamp design, uh, which they're calling the shark tooth. Now you can actually do the same thing with soft tubing. Now the soft tube actually has a little insert onto it. You put it in and then the shark teeth bite down on that soft tube to make that watertight seal. The water cooling industry as a whole has been hit really hard over the last couple of years with price rises in all hardware. I mean, you've got motherboards, the highest end costing over a thousand dollars. You've got GPUs costing thousands. People don't really have the money left over for water cooling gear. And so it's really good to see that there are still companies trying to push for it. I'm going to push for it as well because I really love water cooling and it. That's what made us start this channel. We have a real big passion for water cooling. So I'm really glad to see Fantex taking a step in that direction and providing water cooling gear, especially during these times where water cooling, um, it's, just hasn't been affordable lately. Okay guys, I'm super excited about this product, the Glacier 1360 M25 LCD. Now, I actually got this here. Get this guys, six inch LCD display and it comes in only $179.99. But before you buy it back, there is no other LCD AIO core on the market that comes in that cheap. They're blowing the competition, guys. Six inch display, the display can be moved left or right. So if you have a higher profile RAM that gets in the way, you can actually move the whole screen to the left. And if you have a higher profile IO shield, or you know how some motherboards have, have different designs on there, if it's too high, then you can actually move it this way. The best thing, you, you can actually rotate this to be in portrait mode as well. Now, I'm not gonna lie to you, the, the screen actually reminds me of my phone kind of looks like a phone holder, right? <laughs> Imagine if this was actually Qi charging somehow connected to the phone and you could just put it on there like that <laughs> and charge your phone and your PC. <laughs> So this is the X30. It comes in a 360 and a 420 millimeter version. We're actually planning on releasing uh, further versions, 240, uh, things like that. But at the moment, these are prototypes and you can tell because there is a few scratches over them, but that's not gonna worry us today. This is an all-in-one kind of fan design. So it's one frame, four screws per fan, and it's a more cleaner design with the RGB. They've actually made it a bit more subtle so the RGB is not in the fan blades themselves. Now, in terms of power, 
You can actually rotate this whichever way you want and have the power connector come out for the best routing possible. And these are also going to come in reverse blade options as well in black and white. So there's plenty of options for users. And these come in at $74.99 for the 360mm version and they're still waiting on a price for the 420mm version. The border is also aluminium surrounding the fan design. So it gives it just a more nice premium feel. And I think that really complements this subtle RGB. Now these are Fantex T30 fans. They're brand new performance fans. We have 120 and 140 millimeter versions and they have 25% bigger fan blades because they are 30 mil. Now that means more static pressure, more airflow, so much better for your radiators. They have three fan modes as well. You have advanced mode, which is up to 2500 RPM for the 140 and 3000 RPM for the 120. Now they've actually done some testing as well and I'm not gonna tell you who they tested against but I'm sure you guys can figure it out but it blew the competition out of the water. Fantex is calling this the best fan on the market. Now they actually used a company called Sunon for their fans and they are really well known in the car industry and other industries. So they have a really good reputation for high performance fans. Now I wanna to touch on how much detail goes into these because there is some guy working at Fantex in a basement actually perfectly balancing out these fans. They've got little chambers in here which they insert a little bit of something in there to actually perfectly balance out the fan blades so that it operates at its best performance. Guys in the comments say free Fantex basement dweller. <laughs> now pricing wise guys, the 120 comes in at $29.99 for the single and we have for the triple $84.99 or you can get the 140 millimeter version single pack for $39.99 and you have the triple for $114.99. Now Fantex has had this fan in development for a total of six years and right here you can actually see the different reiterations through the years starting with this first fan using different designs, materials, you can see how the fan blade has changed over time and finally they got to this which is the premium fan which they are calling the best performing fan on the market. Ladies and gentlemen, the star of the show, the Fantex Evolve X2 Matrix. You can see that it still follows the classic design of the original Evolve X2. However, we have a new mesh panel that goes around and as you can see they have their matrix lighting actually implemented down the bottom here and it wraps around the front just like the seamless design of the panoramic view of the glass. But the glass, it also wraps around the back as well, which makes it that much better. Now the LEDs, while they wrap around the front of this mesh design, you can actually turn them off for a seamless clean design, much like the original X2. And you can also play around with the different widgets here. So right now we have one widget on display and we have a funky crab dancing around the front, looks pretty cool. They're actually gonna implement more designs in here so you can have different hardware where temperatures, you can actually have fan RPM. That's stuff that they're working on, but they're after user feedback, guys. So leave some feedback, what you want to see on display in the comments below. But not only can we have single widgets, we can actually have three or four widget options. So you can customize this to your liking to show whatever display you want. You could still have the crab dancing around. I mean, I think that's pretty cool, right? <laughs> and this is all done in their Next Link app. Now the original Evolve X2 released for $149.99. This one is coming out for $199 in black and white as well. Personally for the black one, I do wish the tempered glass wasn't as dark because then I'd be able to see the fabric a bit more, but I'm really liking the white version of this. I think it shows off this display a lot more as well. Fantex want users to display the build how they want it so they've actually implemented all of the hardware down into the case you can see these fans they're flush with the case the radiator is actually hidden up the top nice and flush and this rear fan here is also flush into the case they've also implemented the back connect motherboard design into there as well so cables are all hidden like it's it's such a clean design even the PCIe brackets are hidden by this cover at the rear here this is the XT view matrix it actually comes with two rear fans and one 
one at the back as well. Now, this case has the same matrix design, but it doesn't wrap around the front. The difference between them is this one has 600 LEDs, whereas that one has 900, but you still have the full customization in the Next Link software. So this is a more budget-friendly option if you still want to include this in your setup. The case comes in black and white. It does have support for the Back Connect motherboards. We also have support for a 360 radio on the top. We could fit a 240 at the rear, but the thing you need to think about is if your GPU is sticking out that far, then you may not be able to fit one there. But if you're water cooling, usually the water block would end around here anyway, so you might just sneak that in. Now for the original XT view, you're looking at $89.99. However, for this one, you're actually looking at $120. Now these are Fantex's more budget friendly fans. We have the M25, 120 Gen 2 and the 140s as well. These are three separate fans but they look like they're all connected together because they do have the screw covers there which gives it that clean seamless design. Now for power, most fans actually have a power connector and also an RGB connector. These have one single cable that comes straight to the Nextlink hub if you purchase that separately. Otherwise you actually do have a split Splitter, so you can use it with your regular three pin RGB header on the motherboard. All products on display here actually work with the Nextlink hub, which connects with the Nextlink software. You can connect up to seven devices on one channel, uh, as far as I'm told, but if a device has extra LEDs, then obviously that's gonna take more power, so it may go down to five, uh, depending on what you're running in the system. Now, both the 120 and the 140s for a three pack come in at $29.99, but if you just want the single fan, you can actually get that for $11.99. I think that's a pretty good bargain for RGB fans these days. I don't see many fans priced at that on the market. This is the Eclipse G370A, their budget-friendly case. Comes with three RGB fans. I bet you guys can't guess how much it is in the comments. Don't cheat. $59.99, guys. This is such a cool case. You can actually fit 240 millimeter radiator at the front there. That is because the power supply shroud uh, kind of cuts it off there. But for $10 more, they do have another option. So I mean, why add more cost when they've already got that case option? You can fit a 360 millimeter radiator up the top as well. And you can fit your full size ATX motherboards. This beauty right here is the XTM3. This is their M ATX case, comes in black and white. You can get a version with three fans. It's $10 extra, but without out the three fans, you can get it for $59.99. Now, what are we having here? Well, I said MATX motherboard support, but it supports back connection as well. Up the top here, you can fit a 360 millimeter radiator as well as down the bottom. And over to the right hand side of the motherboard, you can actually fit your full size ATX power supplies.